Did you know that the average length of a hospital stay in 2016 was 4.6 days? Now, if you're thinking that's a pretty short period of time, you're correct when comparing it to previous years. The average amount of time spent in the hospital six years before that, in 2010, was 6.2 days. Rewind all the way back to 1975, when the average length of stay was an astounding 11.4 days. That's almost two weeks long. The main reasons for this decrease are advancements in medicine and updated procedures. However, there's one important reason that's often overlooked. The design of rooms plays a crucial role in minimizing the length of stay in medical care facilities. Hospital room design is important for many reasons. Small details have beneficial psychological effects on patients and medical staff. By providing an environment that facilitates recovery, hospitals can actually speed up their patients' rehabilitation times. This is not only in the interest of the healthcare industry, but in the interest of the general population as well. A shorter stay means a smaller medical bill once the patient leaves the hospital. Experts have poured a tremendous amount of time and energy into identifying the most important elements of design to include in hospital rooms. Throughout this video, we'll examine some of the elements that should be included. The first feature of a hospital room to consider is the single bed versus multi bed patient room. Both of these styles are very popular among healthcare facilities, but which is more beneficial to patients? Let's take a look at the single patient room first. An obvious benefit is the increased amount of privacy, which two thirds of patients preferred in a study from 2016. With increased privacy, patients feel more at ease due to a greater sense of security, control, and confidentiality. In turn, a greater amount of privacy facilitates sleep of a higher quality and quantity. Patients that sleep more will experience more cycles of rapid eye movement or REM sleep. REM sleep is crucial for physical healing and restoration. Additionally, with more space due to only one bed in the room, these rooms can accommodate more visitors. Rooms at the University Medical Center of Princeton demonstrate why this is beneficial to patients. These rooms include a fold-out couch so that family members can stay overnight and this reportedly increased patient satisfaction ratings from the 61st percentile to the 99th percentile. These patients also ask for 30% less pain medication than before these adjustments were made. This is a potential indicator that the increased social support from friends and family aids patients in mending quicker. The final benefit of single bed rooms is the reduced hospital acquired infection rate. With increased isolation provided by this style of room, the risk of infection outbreaks occurring decrease, reducing the hospital-acquired infection rate between 62% and 84%. With lower infections occurring among patients, the average length of stay will decline. Now, when examining the benefits presented by multi-bed rooms, the most prevalent is that they are more effective at keeping patients safe. This style of room provides increased visibility and surveillance by nurses and other patients in the room. Lower visibility has been associated with longer lengths of stay, and this is due to events such as increased patient falls, so the multi-patient hospital room is more beneficial in this aspect. The inclusion of natural light is also important in hospitals, which is understandable considering how light plays an important role in our lives. Humans receive 90% of our vitamin D from sunlight, and vitamin D is crucial to a healthy immune system. Sunlight should be present either through a window or direct exposure through something such as a courtyard. Moreover, brighter hospital rooms can actually improve patients' moods by reducing anxiety and depression. Sunlight increases the release of the hormone serotonin, which improves mood and aids in lowering pain by 22%. As discussed earlier, when pain is reduced, patients ask for less pain medication, which relates to a shorter length of stay. With brighter hospital rooms and increased natural sunlight, patients will be on a faster road to recovery. Along with hospital rooms needing to include natural light, they should also include elements of nature. This is because humans have an innate desire to connect with nature, which is described by the term biophilia. When nature is present in a hospital room, anxiety lowers and patients feel calmer. In this manner, nature relieves patients' pain and their need for pain medication. A simple way to expose patients to nature is through a window. A study concluded that patients with a view of trees actually have shorter hospital stays than those with their window facing a brick wall. Nature can also exist within hospital rooms themselves, through plants for example. Patients in hospital rooms with living plants, such as flowers, 
experience shorter lengths of stay, and minimized pain. However, the use of living plants presents possible dangers like allergies, pathogens, and bacteria. It's important to limit things that could potentially worsen patients' conditions because many of them already have weakened immune systems. Artificial plants make a great alternative to living plants because they produce nearly identical positive psychological effects on people. Nature in hospital rooms indirectly benefits patients too. Nurses and doctors will be less stressed and can better focus on their tasks because exposure to nature is correlated with increased cognitive capabilities. With doctors and nurses more alert, Focus on patients intensifies. Then, the room for error reduces, allowing patients to have a quicker recovery time. Hospitals should also use positive distractions. By providing small, positive distractions for patients, their anxiety and pain may relieve. Distractions help patients to take an optimistic outlook, which helps the recovery process. Simple, natural artwork provides patients with a positive distraction from worries surrounding a hospital stay. Music is another distraction that can improve patient well-being, reduce stress, and provide a sense of comfort. By taking patients' minds off any worries or any physical discomfort that they might have, their well-being might improve because stress can be detrimental to the healing process. Now that some crucial elements of design for hospital rooms have been introduced and discussed, you can understand why this is something that should not be overlooked. The impacts on patients must be taken into account. Hospitals must thoroughly and thoughtfully design patient rooms in ways that will best benefit the patients. By reducing the length of hospital stays with the help of room design, patient turnover increases, allowing more lives to be saved.